we stand here together today in solidarity with our brothers and sisters in New Zealand. The best solidarity is showing that our diversity is a strength. We may be more than 11,000 miles away from Christchurch in New Zealand, but we feel the ripples of hatred, we feel the ripples of fear, and we feel the ripples of sorrow for our brothers and sisters in Christchurch. Let us be under no illusion. This was a terrorist attack on innocent men, women and children. Deliberately targeted because the faith they belonged to. The place they were worshipping was deliberately targeted because it, was, because it was a masjid. There is a responsibility on all of us to be very careful in the language we use and the messages we amplify. There are some people in our city in our country who flame, who fan the flames of hatred. There are some people who demonize and dehumanize people because of the faith they follow. There are some people who rather than addressing people's fears, play on them. You have a role to play in radicalizing people to become terrorists. And that's why it's really important we demonstrate from London that as far as we're concerned, our diversity is a strength not a weakness. We don't simply tolerate it, we celebrate it, we embrace it and we respect it. It is the case though, there'll be Muslims in London who will be feeling vulnerable, feeling scared, feeling frightened because they are Muslims. I've spoken this morning and been in regular contact with the Met Police Service, with the Metropolitan Police Commissioner, with the Deputy Commissioner and with the Head of the Counter-Terror Police here in London. I want to reassure all Muslims and everyone going to a place of worship today and over the course of the next few days you'll be seeing increased policing around masjids, around mosques, high visibility policing to reassure you that here in London you're free to be who you want and worship who you want and it's really important we as a city don't allow this terrorist to cower us to change the way we lead our lives. I want to end by echoing the message of the Imam during the sermon and also the Bishop of London. The thoughts and prayers of every decent Londoner are with those in Christchurch in New Zealand who have lost their lives. We stand in solidarity with the people of Christchurch and we want to be a beacon to the rest of the world to show that whether you are a Christian, Jewish, Muslim, Buddhist, Hindu, Sikh, whether you're a member of an organised faith or not, here in London you are welcome. London is open.